Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about the left trying to cancel a bunch of different content creators and celebrities, including Dylan Mulvaney. But before we start, please make sure you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So we have this block out where a bunch of people are choosing to block different celebrities that aren't speaking up about Palestine or what other issue they find to be important. <laughs> Today's blocks of the day are one Will Smith, two Sam Smith, three Doja Cat. Blocked! But what this has turned into is a block list of any celebrity, really, that you don't like, that you have a minor problem with, and I think a lot of us have forgotten that we can separate the art from the artist. It's very strange that you're looking to these random celebrities for political guidance. I don't think that's the best call. They're there to entertain you, okay? They might be really good at singing and dancing and acting, and they might be really smart and educated on this complex issue, but they also might not be and they could choose not to talk about it. And what started all this is this post by Haley Bailey, which is an influencer. She posts relatable content, and she was invited to the Met Gala to interview people. So she made this TikTok using the audio, let them eat cake. Let them eat cake. And if you don't know what that is, it's believed that Marie Antoinette might have said this, but we don't know for certain. Basically, when she was told that the poor people, they couldn't eat, they didn't even have bread, she said, well, let them eat cake. So I definitely think this wasn't the time or place to use this kind of audio. I just think she saw this was a trending audio, she had that kind of outfit on, and she played that role, let them eat cake, right? Of course, people flooded the comment section with Hunger Games, real life Hunger Games. It's time for the people to conduct what I want to call a digital guillotine, a digitine, if you will. It's time to block all the celebrities, influencers, and wealthy socialites who are not using their resources to help those in dire need. She posted an apology, of course, talking about how sorry she was. She didn't think uh, before posting it, you know, she just wanted to make this fun TikTok. And I believe her. I really don't think that she thought this one through. However, she also talked about, you know, I'm just like you. Again, trying to go for that whole relatability thing. I need to apologize. I am so, so, so sorry that I chose a sound that you guys could ever possibly feel was malicious in nature. The sound has been used in over 110,000 TikTok videos. Sound choice truly had no deeper meaning. I never would have chosen a sound on purpose to highlight wealth disparity or elitism. I never even thought it would be taken in that way because I wasn't elite enough to even be invited to the Met Gala because I'm not elite. I'm a normal person. You're not just like everyone watching because not everyone is at the Met Gala interviewing others, but I do think this was a bit of an overreaction with the let them eat cake audio, truly. <laughs> like you can just scroll. There were a lot of people using this audio. So of course celebrities, because they have such a large audience, a lot of influence on people, I think it's completely understandable why they would want to speak up about an issue that they find important and raise awareness. But there are many issues with forcing celebrities to take a stance. So for example, they might not be educated on the subject, which makes it very easy for them to spread misinformation. And then when you pressure the celebrities to do so, a lot of it is not genuine, right? They're not sincere. They just want to keep their fans, their followers, with all these people blocking them. Celebrities are allowed to have boundaries and they can choose what they share and what they don't share in terms of their political beliefs or their spiritual beliefs, right? In general, with this whole Palestine situation, there have been a lot of strange responses. I'll give you an example. Here is this streamer and she's calling him a cracker for not donating enough. So I personally donated 10K because uh, I think it is worthwhile. And if you guys got some extra bread, I would recommend you donate. But I won't throw it on you. You know what I mean? This is a cracker take. I don't need to enter a f***ing debate cracker about whether that's wild. Take. If you don't believe in the cause, and if you're not against side at this point, like, keep your f***ing money. Keep your $10,000. Keep your, keep your little chump change. Like, he's already donating. Okay. I'm so tired. Miss Rachel is sort of a celebrity for kids, let's say. She's very entertaining for a lot of children. There's also been some controversy surrounding her pride message. So here is the video. Happy pride to all of our wonderful families and friends. This month and every month I celebrate you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're exactly who you are. To those who are going to comment they can't watch the show anymore because of the support, no worries and much love your way. God bless. I am not chasing fame or views. I'm standing strong in love. So I actually think that was pretty tame, nothing crazy. Then, however, she decided, but 
Dylan, let's collab. Why? Out of everyone, Dylan Mulvaney. She also had this TikTok when she was talking about how sad it is that innocent people are suffering on both sides. This is a prayer for children in Gaza. This is a prayer for children in Israel. This is a prayer for all the children. Please stop hurting them. For all the civilians, this is a prayer for all the hostages. People were mad that she feels bad for innocent kids dying, which is really Really, really weird. Everyone is finally cancelling Dylan Mulvaney. F***ing finally. When it comes to speaking about the women in Palestine who are having to use tent scraps because their periods are coming, or the women in Congo who are aggressively and systematically getting graped, she's quiet. This video is for Dylan Mulvaney. I had faith in you, and I'm talking a lot of faith. Your silence and refusal to speak on what's happening has truly been heartbreaking. Multiple times a day, I go to your account hoping that you just talk and speak on this. I can't believe I'm gonna have to defend Dylan Mulvaney, but why does Dylan Mulvaney have to talk about this? Famous because of the mockery of womanhood that Dylan loves to portray. What does that have to do with Gaza or the Congo? I considered you a friend. I am beyond disappointed in you. I have no issues blocking celebrities. And I should have said this sooner, but I also want to take this as an opportunity to use my platform to call for a permanent ceasefire now. Thank you so much. Blocks of the day. Block, 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 block. Again, a lot of this I fear is virtue signaling. Does Taylor Swift love her fans enough to host a free public concert for the ones that can't afford a ticket? Does she love her fans enough to let the 10,000 people camping outside the stadium trying to get a sneak peek listening in? Why does Taylor Swift have to have a free concert? Today's blocks of the day are... Now again, the celebrities can talk about it if they want to, if they feel like they know enough about the subject, but they really don't have to. All right, they don't. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to say, well, we gave you this platform to specifically talk about these social and political issues. No, you didn't. Oh, well, I'm on this side because Lady Gaga said so. Mm -hmm. A positive though I see coming from all of this is that we're no longer idolizing the celebrities, right? I never really understood this because these are just people. They're people with a lot of money and a lot of fame, all true, and they get to attend these lavish events. I understand. But at the end of the day, your favorite singer, your favorite actor, whatever, they're capable of good and bad. They're capable of good takes and bad takes. That's why it's so important not to pressure them to talk about something if they don't know anything about the subject. And that's all for today's video, guys. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Also remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Follow me on my other social media platforms in the description, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.